Express itself in all. Namaste. Om Tat Sat. This is Swami Nikhilananda and welcome to Spirituality and Vedanta Philosophy. Every week I will be posting spiritual knowledge and insights that I have learned directly from a master uh, who is self-realized and enlightened, Swami Jyotirmananji of Miami, Florida. So please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon for updates to my latest videos. In today's video, we will be talking about the five kleshas or afflictions. Kleshas are problems or things that uh, cause impediments to our spiritual journey onwards. And um, in other words, um, we are diseased. So therefore, we use the term diseased. So we are at dis-ease when we are, whenever we are not in ease. Um, so the five major afflictions and Everybody in human embodiment has it. Doesn't matter whether they're rich or poor, young or old. It transcends um, all religions. It's about humanity, and everybody who's born goes through these five things. Um, each one I will uh, narrate, and then we'll briefly talk about it. The first one is asmita, that means ego. The second one is avidya, that is lack of the knowledge lack of the real knowledge, knowledge of the self. The third is Raga, that means attachment. The fourth is Dvesha, Dvesha is hatred. And the fifth one is Abhinivesh Klesh, which means fear of death. So in, uh, in any embodiment that has consciousness, these five things pretty much operate and uh, create afflictions all throughout our lives. Asmita is the most important uh, one, ego, so that has to be controlled and if you want to move on the spiritual journey, we have to be <clears throat> humbling down the ego at all times. It's like the commander-in-chief of the army. If you are able to defeat the commander, the army automatically retreats and does what the commander says. So ego is always a very uh, major impediment to our spiritual journey. We have to be very mindful of uh, making sure we humble our ego. The second one is avidya. Avidya means the lack of the knowledge of the self. Look, there's plenty of knowledge in this world, intellectual knowledge for uh, earning our living. We do all kinds of professions and we continue to maintain our education requirements and so on. But that's not the knowledge we are talking about. Here we are talking about spiritual knowledge or the knowledge of the self. So we, since we don't know that, we think that this world is the only reality and uh, we miss out on the real knowledge of the self. And that's what the scriptures are telling us, that that's where the real kernels or the nuggets of, uh, of spirituality reside that we need to uncover. The third one is Raga. Raga means attachment. So when we are attached to things like our family, our possessions, our car, our house, that binds us. It's not that we don't need these things. Of course we need these things to manage our lives and to make it better and be comfortable. But then to be attached to them and to think that that is your only existence and you can't live without them, that's where the, the binding process comes in which starts to retard our spiritual progress instead of enhancing it. And the fourth thing is Dvesha. Dvesha is hatred. So when we have had a bad experience, we take those um, um, karmas and then we keep them in our subconscious and we hate people or we love people. So we kind of go on extremes and hatred is also one of the uh, impediments to our spiritual onward spiritual journey because it continues to um, retard our spiritual progress and uh, it also affects us because in spirituality we cannot hate anybody. We have to love everybody and it's an art. We have to learn that as we evolve in our spiritual practice. And finally it's the fear of death which we say because at some point in the recesses of our mind we do know that we are also human and at some point we have to depart from this place but we want to not think about it we want to forget about it and therefore uh, we think it only happens to others it will not happen to me but um, each one of us who's born has a breath and limited number of breaths we'll take and eventually we will depart um, and um, 
that's very important to realize that that just like we go grow from uh, childhood to youth, youth to old age, old age to death, it's just a natural phenomenon. There is nothing to be scared about it. But these are the five afflictions that most of the people in the world are entangled in, and they don't uh, understand why they are not making spiritual progress. So if you go with a deeper insight and understand these five things, you will be able to rapidly evolve in your uh, spirituality. If you have any questions, please leave me comments or um, I'll be happy to share any other topics you would like me to. But this is Swami Nikhilananda signing off. Namaste. Om Tat Sat.